Hey everybody, how you doing? I've got pole shift on my mind, and it's really a misnomer because it's the magnetic pole that is shifting, and that's not the same pole as the axis pole. Okay, so just to clarify that, the movement of the Earth throughout the day in this 24-hour rotation goes around an axis so far that appears to be steady and that's what creates the actual North Pole and the North Pole is at that certain kind of tilt so that during the winter solstice it's pointing away from the Sun and it doesn't get any sunlight and therefore it has an icy covering because it's always staying in the cold. It's a, it's a regional climate uh, that's in the cold most of the time. has a perpetual uh, ice cover even when it warms up in the summer, especially around the summer solstice or thereafter in August and early September. And the opposite is true for the South Pole. But when we're talking about pole shift today, we mean the magnetic pole which is somewhat connected with this pole they think and I think it is but it all brings up the question of what is the actual inner structure of the earth we only really know a few miles down um, from our biosphere and that's generally known as the Earth's crust and we don't know what's underneath that. It's all theoretical. And I don't really buy into much of the, the going theory, the, what's presently accepted. So you have to go into the area of the mantle and the core, the so-called um, iron, nickel, molten uh, inner sphere that's there um, and it's probably that material that section of the earth the inner section the interior center of this sphere that we live on the earth because of the forces involved because of the the movement and the rotation around the rotational axis that is causing the magnetic pole. Now the magnetic pole seems to be shifting. They're, they are uh, reporting this now and obviously it's from measurements of some scientific agencies around the world and especially the um, transportation agencies because it's affecting the airports and navigation if you don't know which way north is it's very hard to navigate so you have to make um, the appropriate adjustments now <clears throat> getting back to the idea of uh, the structure of the earth creating this magnetic field some people say that it's very much connected with uh, extraterrestrial bodies, other planets, um, seen or unseen, uh, with regular or irregular um, proximity to the Earth. So, um, is this what's affecting the magnetic field, or is it our relationship to the Moon, or our relationship to the Sun? the Earth-Sun relationship. Is it because of the Sun and the solar maxima, the solar flares, because those have a magnetic uh, property? Well, the core of the Earth may not be what they say it is. It may actually be uh, hollow but not in the way that we think of hollow. It may be hollow because of the pressure that is involved um, 
the heat and the pressure and the it would be strange to think of gravity at the center of the earth you see imagine if you were at the center and whatever material is there whatever molecules would actually be in a relatively weightless state a, uh, a lack of gravity has to occur um, and if you go from the poles and then I know there's been a lot of science fiction ideas about this if there is a passageway in at any one of the poles and you are traveling through that um, vector or th that passage t toward the center that's probably the best route in to find uh, a gravity free environment in that zone and who knows really what could be in there I believe there's all kinds of civilization uh, of other species that can't exist in our biosphere and I'm going to leave off with the idea that um, <clears throat> there could be some intelligence involved with uh, shifting the magnetic field it could be under control of some entity or entities uh, and this is a great mystery because in the Bible it talks about how the earth is positioned and how there are four great beasts it's transliterally literated as beasts that sit um, worshipping the great one who sits on the throne so they're all around the throne the throne of the earth and the Lord who presides over it <clears throat> this is the unseen ancient God now this is in the Bible you can look it up if you want to and I think this has a lot to do with the uh, magnetic field so for those of you who are fearing some planet or planet X Nibiru or a comet out there that's probably just connected with what's going on inside of the earth and everything is being planned out so don't worry about it it's not out of control but it is out of the control of any evil plans of earthlings that's what I believe thanks for listening more about this pole shift later on especially when your compasses have no use whatsoever <laughs>